So hey guys, I'm back with a update on my new PC. I made a few changes. Uh, I added this cooler that I first thought would fit on the, the top of the the case, like they do sometimes. But in this case, it wasn't fitting at all. So I ended up putting it in front, just like managing to do it by putting a few screws here and there, and uh, it's working. Uh, as for the crack fix card, it stay there. I removed also there was like a, a panel there to separate the graphics card from the actual CPU. I removed that. Uh, I added two sticks of RAM. So I got 32 RAMs of uh, gigs of RAM, I mean. They're also RGB, which I don't really care about. There it is. I'm gonna update also this fan because I think it's a really important fan. I might put it in the um, push configuration to give fresh air for these uh, these fans that are pushing that way. Because uh, this generates heat, not that much actually, but it does. I just don't want air to stay still on the. CPU area. Um, a few inconvenience with this, with changes, the, changing this. I also wanted to like move the motherboard out of this and put it in my other case, which for some reason wasn't possible. I unscrewed everything and and I couldn't I couldn't like remove the actual motherboard. I think it's screwed somewhere else. So I kind of gave up on this and just like made it work with this over there. Uh, there's also not many... They don't want you to like play with it I think. Because there's no Molex in this case. Only SATA cables. Uh, SATA connectors I mean for power. But no actual Molex which, which is a pain in the ass for these fans. Because I got not, not two fans along with the pump. Um, only two places for fan. Two fan headers only on this case, which is not a lot. Uh, they really don't plan you on <laughs> changing anything. Because also the, the plate that was there in my previous video. That plate was um, screwed like with 10 screws for some reason and there's just a ton of like useless scrap they put in and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, let me know what you think uh, I have to like rearrange some cables but I'm not really bothered with it I just want it to work well and have good temps because the CPU is really uh, uh, getting warm because uh, the way it's set up for, for some reason with Ryzen uh, the lower the temperatures you get the more uh, it's gonna up upvolt and uh, overclock the CPU by itself so that's something I might uh, change eventually I might make it so uh, it stays at one uh, frequency and doesn't move because uh, it just makes it random for temperatures Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to see more, or maybe have some more info information, let me know, and see you next time.